Eric Graves, he will be evaluating Larry Gibbs' speech. It was sixth speech, and the project I believe it was nine. Mm -hmm. Eric Graves. Interesting topic. I like how Halloween goes with the, the theme of the day and, um, and the government blowback and all of that. That's pretty scary too. Right? So, yeah, it's, uh, but it's good that everybody getting bonuses. So blowback, as Brandon said, does have some benefits if you learn from it. So I am honored today because I am the speech evaluator for Mr. Larry Hill. And I am honored on several reasons because every time Larry does a speech, I am mostly a speech evaluator. So I get to grow with Larry. This is a um, and it's Larry's sixth speech, and he wanted me to watch and see if he was comfortable or becoming comfortable on, this, on the platform. And being six, his sixth speech, I definitely would say yes. That's part of it. That's why we get to TN. So first of all, congratulations and kudos on that. Love the, this was Persuade with Power, your point of blowback. I definitely like how you started with the illustration of fire and the eyebrows and the hair going off of that. Made me think of a grilling situation I had once trying to get my grilling skills together, and I literally blew off my eyebrows. <laughs> it wasn't very nice, and it still burned. So I like that. I like how you use those illustrations to define blowback. I wonder, with a topic like blowback, how you want to approach it, and I like your illustration. Uh, your humor, I thought, was great. I like how you said your hair was a blowback. I had to write that down. Um, you used a lot of good examples that I thought was very relative. I like the fact that every time I hear you speak, I like that you're a storyteller that you have something relative to your life in your speech. So you'll make a point and then you'll give us a reference of something you know. So you got a lot of experience and one of the things I like about Toastmasters is sitting here listening to each of you and hearing about your experiences come forth from this platform. So Larry, you do that very well. Um, love your uh, military industrial media banking cartel. Uh, wow, that's all in, in the words or in the senses. That's our, our system. Our, our just, military, we're controlled by all of those things and influenced by that, causing blowback. You know, so uh, I like that you recommended the book. I like that you had the book. I like that you spoke from the book, that you actually, your topic came from the book. So I thought that was pretty good. I, I don't, we don't really see that too often. Usually it's off the cuff or something that we created, but you used a resource, and I thought that was great. You seem very knowledgeable. Again, I said you use, very, you use life examples. Your life examples made it very convicting, made it very, uh, brought forth the knowledge of the topic, which is good. I, the, only, I, the only challenge, the only thing I saw that, as from a, from a speaking perspective, that I would have maybe adjusted was the ballroom classes. Uh, notes. I, didn't, I like that you use notes, but at yeah, one point you, was, you were marking it. Everybody take a dance. So uh, I felt inspired. I felt like I was like, oh, with a ballroom, ballroom. So, so, but yeah, I would have. So with your notes, if you're going to walk with them, maybe keeping them a little lower instead of okay. so high. And, um, and maybe using the podium to come back. So that was my main challenge, change there. Sound principles, I like how you wrapped it up with sound principles of economics. You brought us home, and I think you did a great job, sir. So again, honored to be your speech evaluator. Continue to go to number seven, and thank you.